Welcome back to Bay Sunday. This morning we have a talented local musician with us. She's just 19 years old, but she's got a wealth of experience in the music world already, and she's performing in the Bay Area. Her name is M. Rossi. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Hi, good morning. I I'm really excited to talk to you about this. It seems mm -hmm. like your career is blossoming right now. <laughs> Tell us about your music, your style. How would you describe yeah, I mean, my style, I grew up singing classical and Broadway music, and then I went off and I totally fell in love with jazz and soul music. I listened to Adele and Sarah Bareilles constantly as a kid. And now that I've grown older and I've become a millennial, um, I've definitely gone more into the pop alternative realm, but it's just been so fantastic just to be able to kind of, as I'm 19 now, I'm still growing so much. Just see the growth of who I am over the years has really been exciting. It must have been quite the journey since graduating journey. high school to, to this <laughs> point now what's yeah. happened since then I mean I was going to Los Angeles to work in studios and start making music when I was 15 mm -hmm. I began professionally when I was 14 and it was crazy to just go back and forth in the beginning but since then I graduated I was accepted to the Berklee College of Music in Boston and I deferred it and I made the move to Los Angeles and since then I've been in Los Angeles doing shows finding my sound just really growing into the artist that I am um, I'm a partner artist on the app called Smear and they've been just an incredible app to grow with and it's just been exciting to finally I, I guess I guess grow it and make and make things really start happening yeah. and, and see them start happening in front and so it's, it's just been a really exciting time it's been yeah. a blur but it's been crazy everything's starting to connect uh, our, <laughs> our viewers definitely want to hear your voice let's yeah. listen to uh, some of your songs and then we'll talk more about it after it Keep it in the moment, go steady with the flow and get lost, but keep the truth from falling through. There's more to this than just loving you. Have you ever noticed that every time we dance, we get to know each other like real lovers do? Just me and you So close your eyes and see You're standing next to me Take our time across the line But hold on to that eye You stay to mine You and I won't fall behind No, there's no easy way Incredible voice, <laughs> Thank beautiful you. voice. Thank you. When did you learn and realize that you kind of had that talent? I think my parents noticed me singing constantly around the house when I was eight years old. <laughs> okay. And they, they actually said I, I couldn't stop making noise. I was singing along to the radio. And it was just kind of a natural love, I guess. And I started taking vocal lessons. And since then, it was just kind of like a secret hobby for me. I was a little bit scared to actually share it with family and friends. And I would say probably around the time when I was 12, 13, when I started kind of, I, I finally got out of that awkward stage of just being <laughs> socially insecure yeah. about everything. And and I really started getting more confident in myself. And I think once I gained that confidence was when I decided, you know, this could be a possibility of doing this as a career and continuing forward. And so I just I just had such a major passion for it. And I just, you know, I think I was given this voice and I just people I really wanted to share it with people. Yeah. Has it been a difficult journey or so far has it been pretty easy for you? It's, a, it's been, singer. I mean, it, it's so, there's no set path for the music industry to get into. And um, I unfortunately, uh, I got music from my dad. Um, he was an amateur singer, songwriter, guitar player, and he unexpectedly passed away when I was 15 mm. from a heart defect that he was born with. And that very much just kind of, I guess, grounded me in just understanding and, and really just kind of growing up probably faster than usual. But from that, I became a lot stronger and I found, I gained even more 
motivation to just say, you know, mm. you have one life and I really just, you got to keep moving yeah. forward with doing it. And there's, there's emotional ups and downs. It's a grind. It's a business in the end. Um, but as long as you continue to love it, I think that's just what's going to keep you moving forward. You have such a soulful voice, and you also wrote these songs. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from, that experience talking I, about? I don't know. Maybe I just have a lot in my head going on. Um, but yeah, I think I, I naturally started writing journals and poems when I was younger. And once I started learning piano um, on top of my vocals is when I was really able to start coming up with my own melodies. And you know, not only am I writing on my own, but I'm also co-writing with some amazing people I've met incredible people in Los Angeles along the way and so it's just it's just really great and it's it's I'm I'm really proud of where I've come to be mm -hmm. um, in my 19 years and yeah. so it's I'm just really looking forward to whatever's to come in this head and and out of my mouth yeah congratulations on the wonderful <laughs> start you. remember us uh, when you're a I star will, you know performing in front of millions <laughs> of fans appreciate you uh, stopping by Thank you. And remember, M. Rossi's upcoming show is at the Mystic Theater in Petaluma on October 1st, benefiting the Walk to End Alzheimer's. For tickets, you could go to mystictheater.com slash shows. Coming up, an American in Paris when Bay Sunday comes back.